I All right. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. You're good. I waited till you taught this class so I can uh, it, so. Okay. <laughs> if person A can decorate a cake in five hours and person B can decorate the same cake in ten hours, what is their rate working together? Let's do it together then. All right. So specifically, I'm looking at that ten hours again, which is great because it's a multiple of five. It's the same idea on this one, right? And we got person A which in five, I'm sorry, they can do the cake in five hours. So they can do one cake in five hours. Maybe an arrow's better for that. So in 10 hours, how many cakes can they complete? Two cakes. Now, if we compare this to person B, all it tells us is that in the 10 hours, they can complete one cake. So if we looked at this in 10 hours, we have person A in the 10 hours, they could complete by themselves two cakes. On the other hand, we have person B who could finish in 10 hours one cake. So when we add those two together, we know how many cakes we have from both people in 10 hours. And that would be three cakes in the 10 hours. <clears throat> now that was working together, right? So if we wanted to know what their working rate together would be, we should just divide both sides by the three cakes, which would give us one cake. So they can do one cake in every, we'll say, three and a third hours. So if you want to write it as a rate, technically, or I guess formally, you may write it as three and a third hours per cake. So if they wanted to say how many cakes? When they want the rate, they usually want a unit rate. So they want one of the values to be one, whether it's one cake or one hours. In this, ca in this case, it makes more sense to, to find out how many hours it would take them both to make one cake. 